I always wanted to have Simflex despite my games not supporting them. Hi, I'm Stuyo and welcome to my garage with yet another project. Simflex are popular and helpful addition to any sim racing setup. The most popular ones are quite big utilizing 64 LED metrics. As I wanted something smaller, I went for the 5x5 size. Could have went even smaller with 20-bit matrix, but then I couldn't make these cool animations. The enclosure is very simple and it consists of only single part which is printed without any supports. The assembly is very simple, we just slide in the parts and fix them somehow in place. Here I already cut the cover from 2mm hobby glass and put some window tint. I also already soldered the connector cable. The first assembly option is just to glue the matrix to the cover. We start by routing the cable through its opening and then we just glue everything together. It is also a good idea to put some hot glue on the cable to keep it in place on the exit of the enclosure. As I cut one of the covers too small, I utilized here another approach. Started by attaching cover and matrix together with some hot glue. I carefully filled in the gap on all sides and then smoothed it down. Next we slide in the assembly in the enclosure and it is held in place by the hot glue on the side. As I actually managed to cut the other cover in the proper size, I just put it in place and it stayed there. As I intended to drive several displays together, I had to build a custom distribution board. Connects directly to the Arduino and takes 5V from there, also the digital pin. On the board itself, each display's output is connected to the next display input port. I also have a port for external power should I ever need it, switched by a jumper. Now what is left is to actually mount this displays somehow to our rig. The enclosures have built-in GoPro interface which I am attaching to several mounts I am commonly utilizing in my setup. Now let's go over to the SimHub configuration. As you have virtually a single array of addressable LEDs, it's quite simple. Furthermore, all of these displays are driven by a single Arduino digital pin. The only complicated thing here is actually finding on which bit each display starts and ends. Now I will make short introduction of each effect that I placed on the SimFlex. The yellow flag was achieved by putting a single yellow color on the whole matrix and then alternating between two masking effects. You can place all your bits in SimHub configuration either in one line or present them as a matrix. You can see here the blue flag animation which is composed of four alternating frames. The drone animation doesn't look anything like what you have on the flag itself. This is because the advanced setup features of SimHub which are featured on the matrix setup panel are not present here. You cannot rotate the animation or set your matrix layout. These options are present only on the matrix configuration tab but it supports only 64-bit modules. This yellow flag animation was much simpler and it consists only of two alternating frames. I opted for the 5x5 matrix module so I can draw these fun idle animations. You can see here both the orange alien and the shift white animation were configured in a single row. 
Again, the animation for the alien consists only of two alternating frames and the shift fight has some more. You'll need definitely some imagination to configure all your LEDs like this, but ultimately it works pretty well. After a while I'm sure you'll get the hang of it and start imagining all kind of different cool animations to place on your mini iFlex. I will leave you here to watch some of the animations that I use, also some in-game footage. This is a very fast and cheap project which I actually don't need at all. On the other hand they are pretty cool and because of their minimalistic size they will take almost no space on your sim cockpit. I am having a lot of fun with their idle animations and I am definitely keeping them. Maybe one day I will even have some time to drive simulators who actually utilize the flux system.